Hey, hey, you guys. It's your favorite little keto goofball diamond, and today is day 1111 of my ketogenic journey, 1111. Yay, me. <laughs> First of all, I want to thank all of you for showing up today. It means so very much. You guys are amazing. You are the best team a girl could have. So anyway, just like always, if you're new here though, you won't know this. I'll show you everything I ate yesterday. I'll be right back with a chit chat and a weigh in. I do this every day. So you definitely want to hit the like, subscribe, share, ring the bell, all that good stuff you ain't done yet. Now it's time to rant, rave, and misbehave. Keto Diamond style with a side order of Mr. KD. He's dry. <laughs> Wanna say hey y'all? Hey y'all. Drop mama off for her first day of work. Are you nervous? <laughs> Probably not. Uh, she's a little bit nervous. We're getting ready to run up to Walmart and meet a school friend of mine for just a minute. And, uh, yeah. You got a leaf in your mouth. <laughs> it's, it's a good leaf. It's fine. Baby Anthony went and seen a friend for a second at Wally World. And we're going to have a picnic style lunch in the van. Here's his french fries. And there's my uh, Bacon King with no bun add tomatoes. They throw a bunch of crap in the bag too. You already ate it? I'm glad, baby. Good job. Anthony, get back over here. Somebody's having a good time. Anthony, what are you doing? Anthony, are you on the back of the couch? You're going to fall down. Daddy. <laughs> I need to take a little nap, so I'm having some Diet Cherry Dr. Pepper, which I have all the time. No, it does not break my fast. It doesn't do anything to me. I'm having a ham and cheese sandwich, two pieces of ham, some mayonnaise, uh, two slices of cheese. I just wanted it. I cut the crust off, and this is my second um, Ghirardelli's 80%, 86% dark chocolate thingy. <laughs> of course, this is keto zero net carb bread. Now I'm having zero net carb bread ham and cheese, mayonnaise. Um, I did have a little bit of the pork chop that we had left over from last night with the uh, golden uh, barbecue sauce from Primal Kitchen on it. So just a little bit. And uh, I think that's all. I also had a performance nut butter. So as a mistake, I had about two servings of this. I knew I shouldn't, but I did it anyway. Um, this hasn't really done me super well in the past. So I don't think it's going to this time, but afterthoughts. <laughs> Yes, calories 2177, 73 grams of total carbohydrates, more like 30 grams of net, 196 grams of fat, 124 grams of protein. Remember, my grandson did eat part of my burger or a good part of it, so I don't really know what I got yesterday. This is what it kind of sort of maybe is. I guess so. I know that some of you have offered up the information before, but I thought I would ask very straightforward. Did you have back problems before you started keto? Have they helped you with those? Have you had these shots or injections? What helped you with yours? What was your back problem or a friend or a loved one too? I'm just curious. Now, when I started keto, I had back issues, lower back issues. Uh, I, I was also prone to pull my back out. You know, that pain that's funny on TV, but not when it happens to you. Um, but my lower back issues, I do believe was coming directly from my weight. Um, I would have been mad if a doctor told me that, but that's pretty much what it was coming from. They were alleviated very quickly by keto, thank heavens. My lower back, I, 20, 30 feet, and I'd have to stop leaning up against something. But again, I think that was coming from just my, my weight. I had a lot of belly, had a lot of boobies, had a lot of boobies. Um, <laughs> but what's been your experience or your family member's experience with both the injections and with keto? All right, you guys, so it's grandma's day off. Technically, I get to be wife's day on right now. Hubby is headed right now somewhere he does not want to go. No. That he's kind of being forced to go. Um, today is the day they are going to do injections in his back. He has had uh, back issues for about five years now. It is a bulged disc and pinched nerves. 
he did try keto, it didn't really alleviate the pain very much for him. So, I mean, there was good days and bad days, you know. So, they're going to try injections. They've also tried Tremadol and hyd Hydrocodone? Yeah. Um, Hydrocodone works. Semi, though. Anyway, um, so they're going to try the injections today. And we're going to see where it goes. This man is needle phobic on the reel. No lie, no doubt. Just completely needle phobic. Him and my daughter both have a thing where they... Uh, pain medicine really doesn't work on the same level for them. Like even when she got um, a C-section done in epidural, she felt stuff and she wasn't happy about it. She never got knocked out like they told her she was going to do. Um, they told her to count backwards and she's like, okay, and she kept counting. So, you know. um, but he's pretty much the same way. When, when they go to do like teeth things for him, they always had to prescribe a Valium first. Otherwise, they could give him, what, seven shots of Novocaine, and it wouldn't take effect. Um, and I guess that was nerves, but either way, pain is not their friend because there's really little they can do about pain. So, we'll just have to see how this goes. He, of course, like I said, neophobic, not having it. By the way, yesterday actually went pretty good. Yesterday was the first day I watched Anthony for an extended period of time. I've watched him, you know, for an hour or two here and there where they went grocery shopping or done some other things. Uh, but for the most part, I haven't had to watch him a whole lot. I haven't even had to change a whole lot of diapers. And he saved a good one for me yesterday. Making up for lost time, I reckon. Uh, <laughs> but he was really, really good. Now, I gotta say that Zach was the deciding factor. Anthony is a handful. Zach, being uh, six and a half years old, pretty much as long as he's got his stuff, he's good to go. Anthony, of course, being a, a little over a year and a half. Who y'all? Y'all know how it is. They say terrible twos, but what they mean is terrible from one to 35. Um, <laughs> Disney read a meme yesterday. It said, uh, girls never really get out of their, their terrible twos. You just have a five foot one terrible two year old stalking your life. So I don't remember the exact thing, but it was kind of cute. And I was like, oh wow, that's, that's adorable. Um, but anyway, it went okay. He could not decide when he wanted to take a nap. Um, he kept getting his uh, little juice cup and getting in my lap and getting on the couch and getting in my lap and getting on the chair, getting on the other chair. And finally, he just passed out on the couch. <laughs> he wasn't a bad baby yesterday. Not, not that a baby can really be bad. Um, but it wasn't as bad as I was expecting. I was like, I'm going to be dying by the end of this. And I was tired. I was tired. I couldn't wait for him to take that nap so I could have me a sandwich. But it wasn't that bad. And I think I said this like when I did the video. But Anthony, he's not like Zach. And so, I mean, no kid is exactly the same anyway. But when it comes to eating, as long as Zach's got food of his own, he doesn't care what I'm eating. Anthony, I don't care what I'm eating. He's eating half of it. I want y'all to know he is eating half of it. So, <laughs> I got about half of that that bacon sandwich from Burger King without the bread. Yesterday my keto day did not go bad, but it could have been better. I did decide to have some of that Soleil cereal stuff. It's the four net carb granola and I think I had about two servings. I just kind of poured a little bit in a bowl, but I think it was about two servings. And uh, yeah, that stuff's never really worked out for me and I knew it wouldn't, um, but I was hoping for the best since I'm holding so much water that it would let me lose water even if it didn't let me lose fat. So when I weighed in yesterday, I was doing good, and I didn't really do bad, bad yesterday, but I was doing good. You know, it was coming on down. Plus, there was a thing with my fluid pill. I usually take it around 3 o'clock. I kept forgetting to take it and ended up taking it probably about 8 or 9 p.m. And you know what that means? I was up and down all night peeing. Mm. Are you sleepy, baby? Yeah, let's go back home. No, you're not allowed to go back home. We're going to the doctor. <laughs> He's serious too, by the way. If I said okay, he could. Mm. But no. If this is something that could potentially help him with pain, we need to get it knocked out. That would be nice. It's not hurt today. Yeah, uh huh. That's just because you're back. So, no, I'm scared. No. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and insert the way in here, and I'll tell you all about that. Good morning, y'all. We're going to do some weighing in here. Wait, oh there we go. 
163.6 new balance. So that's up 0.6 pounds. Now remember, I'm at a spot where I am comfortable with my body and I feel good. But of course, again, every ounce lost will be celebrated. The end. Um, I want to lose a lot more weight. In fact, I, I do think I'm still I'm going to start actually pushing again because I do want to reach a goal, a good goal. Um, in the 160s, between 165 and 155, it's okay with me. I'm five foot one, but it's still I'm still pudgy. <laughs> I know, but I can look in the camera and the mirror and all that and just see so much that really could go. There's a lot that could go, and the goal of 111.8 might be a little low. I don't know. I might be able to do it. I might not be able to do it. But I do want to push towards more than 120 range, considering I'm five foot one. So it, maybe I'll make my goal 125 and just see where we're at with that and start pushing again to try to get down to that. I do have a couple off-scale victories, wonderful ones that I'm very, very happy about. And I've been talking about my rings for a while. I just got this one uh, from, uh, sorry, from Miss Angie and this one. Now, I realized I can wear this on all my fingers, which means it's not going to be long before I can't wear that one at all. And I'm going to cry. And I don't give away my gift rings. So, like, even if I do a giveaway or if I sell some rings and stuff, if, if, it's, if it's a gift, it don't go. So, it's just going to be in my jewelry box permanently. <laughs> Uh, might make an appearance on a necklace once in a while or um, I might even let my daughter wear them or something but right now I'm getting a little sad about that another off-scale victory which I think is amazing it kind of confused me we all have had or do have that pair of jeans it fits good but it's actually kind of tight and you wake up in the morning and you think do I really want to be in tight tight pants today and again I don't know but I went ahead, threw caution to the wind, put them on. And you know what? My brain goes, hmm, did we wash and dry these? Because they don't feel tight. I actually took them off and did the sniff test. It smelled like, you know, laundry detergent, so we're good. But, <laughs> but yeah, my brain was like, huh, these usually don't fit this good. They're not quite this, I don't want to say loose, because loose is the wrong word. But they're very conforming without being snug. Does that make sense? Um, the shirt, however, not on the same level. The shirt's tight. Ah, he's going to get his tail. Hey, now. Can we go back now? No, we can't go back now. Hit on the Winston and quit it. Don't give me a heart attack on the way there. But, okay, so we talked a lot. I watched a video with uh, Adapt Your Life with Dr. Eric Wilson this morning. Go over and watch that. Because, you know, we have a lot of what you call keto police. And there's nothing wrong with if you want to eat very, very strict very very pure keto if you want to leave out the Duke's mayonnaise so you miss the olive oil if you want to um, do grass-fed organic there's nothing in the world wrong with that nothing at all I think that's great for you but the way I eat it needs to be cheap it needs to be simple and it needs to be sustainable it needs to be stuff I can do while living a normal everyday I'm a granny and a mama and a wife life okay it needs to be easy so if you can afford all those other things that is fantastic but we have a lot of keto police and if you go over and watch dr westman today with adapt your life he kind of explains that pretty much in the same way um but he's he's a great doctor he was on the news the other night i don't know what for i didn't catch it but i know a lot of people were excited about it so anyway dr eric westman is a wonderful source for keto for, for doing a good job keto uh, go keto with casey worked with him she's a good source dr barry of course is a good source y'all have probably heard of all these people i don't know but if you're thinking about doing keto and you just haven't done it yet the only thing stopping you from it is taking the turn on the right road to the right food steve that's it and i have a full foods list too if you want to see everything that i know of that's perfectly keto friendly it's on ketodiamond.com i also have a video you got a red light <laughs> he looked like he was going to go anyway. Hey, it's red. What are you doing? There's nobody coming. So I don't why? care if it's... It didn't always used to be a light. It used to be a stop sign. Um, what was I talking about? He's driving. It's terrifying to me. You stop. Over there. <laughs> it's a big ass truck. Um, okay. What was I talking about? Going home? No, we're not going home. Um, but anyway... There's, there's a list, a full foods list, ketodiamond.com. Everything's free and easy. 
to work out for yourself. And if you need help, I love helping people. I do. It's it's gratification. It's uh, it's you can it's read just. Read emails. I read emails every day, like no, fifteen don't. times a day. Don't let him talk. He he can't talk. Am I in trouble? Can I go home now? No, you may not go home now. Yes, you are in trouble, but I'll deal with that after they give you a shot. Tell the doctor to stab a little deeper. <laughs> no, don't worry, I won't do that. Uh, but anyway, um. I also have a video on the front of this channel, a full playlist really, but a video explaining all the foods you can eat. And it's a very simple concept. Less than 20 grams of carbs a day, eat fatty protein. That's, it's, it's pretty much that simple. Um, now if you get too much fat, you might want to eat a leaner cut of protein. If you're having a hard time getting your proteins in, you know, you might want to go with more chicken breast than chicken thigh chicken thighs a little fattier but it's pretty simple I mean really it is it, we, we complicate it there's a lot more that can go along with it you know like fasting and stuff but you don't have to do all that especially if you're brand new get your feet wet first get started on keto first then worry about all the other complicated stuff meat cheese eggs green leafy vegetables keto good to go right throw out the breading throw out the chips throw out the cake good to go all right, or in the regular sodas, those are no no too. That won't let you get in keto. But anyway, if you need help, it is my pleasure to help you. It really, truly is, and I love doing it. It's it's one of the finest parts of my life right now, other than of course my grandbabies, babies, and family and life. Um, but contact me seriously. There are wonderful ways to support the channel. You can utilize the PayPal link. You can check out the Teespring links where I design T-shirts that you might like and want to wear and other things down there there are some things down there that can help you get started on keto but you don't need any of that again you need meat cheese eggs green leafy vegetables the rest is just gravy but if you want to get a keto mojo I will say 15% off that's all I'm saying now much love to you guys and dolls I do this every day so subscribe bye y'all